Good morning, good afternoon, good evening. It's Elliot Brown here in the Essex Business Radio studio, and I've forgotten to put the screen on, so I'm going to do that in a second after I've introduced Adrian Dorabantu. <laughs> and anybody that's listening to this podcast, that's going to mean nothing to you at all. But if you're watching this on the live, it will. Now, thankfully, there's nobody actually watching right this second, so we're going to do that in a second. What I'm going to do is I'm going to introduce Adrian, and I'm going to very quickly, when I bring him on the screen, I'm going to put him on, and then I'm going to basically put the Pivotal Podspective back on in the background. And so if you don't know what I'm doing, because you're only listening to this in a podcast, you've got to go and check this out over on YouTube. We're going to be telling them about that more at another time, but it's Essex Business Radio on the YouTube channel. Uh, so I'm just basically going to bring Adrian in now. Uh, how you doing, Adrian? Hello, everyone. I'm doing great. What about you, Elliot? <laughs> you just put me on the spot now so you can actually turn on the logo. Yeah, yeah, I got you. <laughs> I'm actually going to do that right now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, but b- before before I do that, um, because, you know, listen, we're live and, uh, and, and I was just I literally, I was just doing a pasta dish for Kian and producer Emma. So, you know, my, my 11 year old, what can you do? You've got to do these things, haven't you? Exactly. Yeah, you have to. You have to be the example. Uh, at, the, at the moment, we're having to balance that home life and uh, and the and the homeschooling and everything. So, uh, but I've managed to get some free time today as well. I've actually stepped outside into the sunshine. As you know, that's not something I always do. I get stick myself in the office. Have you have you been out today, Adrian? Have you got outside and got some fresh air? I have been. I actually even uh, been kind of forced to stay outside for one hour because ah, I sold my car today. <laughs> <laughs> all right yeah. okay anyway, funny story someone came to buy the car they couldn't transfer the funds so we had to wait one hour in the sun until the funds were cleared but yeah. <laughs> things like this what a wag <laughs> exactly yeah i had a i had a strange day today <laughs> <laughs> well, listen, when I turn the screen on in a second, I'm going to basically hand it over to you. So because because I have a question, right? Today's about the Facebook pixel. Um, mm. What is the Facebook pixel, Adrian? I mean, I, you know, I, I've sort of I know what it sort of does, but but I'm going to split stick the screen onto you so I can put this on. And to the viewers that are watching, um, can you explain to me um, what the Facebook pixel is? Yes. So Thanks. for for people in US, the Facebook pixel, it's um, the FBI and the CIA, CIA of Facebook. And for people in the UK, the Facebook pixel is the MI6 of, uh, of, the, of the Facebook, basically. It's, I bet many of you have um, asked yourself maybe sometimes or even found it actually annoying when you go visit a website or visit something and then you just see that straight away, you get an ad on Facebook or these days even in, in other softwares or applic- apps uh, from uh, from that website with the product that you've seen before, or either with a discount or, or something like that. And that's something that Facebook does, you know, same like Google does. Google first started with uh, the Google Analytics, which is a and Google Tag Manager, which is a tracking tool. Um, and then Facebook have done it as well. So on your website, you can just plug in a, a very simple and, and easy tool um uh, that's going to track all your movements and after that is going to stalk you a bit i like it thanks very much for doing that while i was just quickly switching the screen on um <laughs> yeah while, while i was saying about things about google my phone just lit up a few times because i i don't have an iphone i have an, uh, an android so google yeah. def- is definitely listening oh uh, yeah 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 and i've seen a few things about that listening as well and maybe we'll, yeah. we should definitely i think over over the coming weeks there's going to be uh, there's going to be one of these shows that we'll do around that because is it a myth or is it reality i don't know drop your comments below let us know what you know <laughs> because we'd like to hear from you um exactly. yeah the facebook pixel so in essence it's it's a way of um I mean, listen. It's not spying. It's it's a no, it's a no. tool. It's a tool that enables you to understand what your potential audience or people that are coming that you're attracting, that you're engaging with, exactly. what their habits are. Would that be a good way of explaining it? Exactly. It kind of explains the behavior of the of your users uh, of of people that come onto your website or your on your application and, and things like that. You know. So yeah. You're never gonna be able to know that uh, John Smith from London um came actually onto your website but you're gonna see the people's or i don't know people in a in a, a person in a certain age bracket certain demographic language uh, countries and, and things like that and that's exactly what the facebook pixel does but also if you have an e-commerce website or website where you sell anything yeah. you can see if someone actually added things to basket but they haven't bought anything and yeah. uh, you can create very very good uh, audiences from there 
Yeah. So basically what you were saying a little while ago was uh, was, you know, are, you, are people surprised sometimes that that, you know, Facebook seems to know what you're doing or what exactly. sort of ad to put in front of you or, or whatever. And it's down to is down to setting up what we were talking about yesterday is Facebook business manager, but also setting this up as well. Now we'll say exactly. Facebook pixel. Um, now, people know what pixels are. Uh, because it's a tiny little square that uh, makes up a screen, for example. Um, what is a Facebook pixel, though? You know, is it, it, is that a tiny little square that you stick on your screen, Adrian? No, nothing at all. So I'm no, not of, course why, uh, of course it isn't. Of course it isn't. It was a rhetorical question, Adrian. I wasn't being yeah. totally serious, but <laughs> probably yeah, it definitely has an explanation. But that just just the people behind Facebook know exactly why they call it that as a Facebook pixel. Yeah, it's uh, just for make it easier for everyone. Because trust me. Loads of people these days don't know what a Facebook pixel is, to be honest. Yeah, uh, yeah, no, a lot of people, for sure. But just call it Facebook tracking code, all right? That's that's the easiest thing that you can ever ever put together, you know, because yeah. it's quite self-explanatory when you say tracking code, and that's exactly what it does. Yeah, um, it's a bit of code, isn't it? And it's a bit of code yeah. that goes where, uh, where, where, mate? I mean, it's a bit of code that goes in, you embed it in your website. You, yeah. you need to know for what you're doing are, to do this, right? Yeah. For people that are a bit technical, you just usually put it in the head of your website. Uh, obviously, if you have anything to do like with e-commerce website, depending what platform they use, there are automate, automated plugins that you can use. Shopify have their own uh, plugin to integrate. Actually, no Shopify. Facebook has an automated way to integrate the Facebook pixel with Shopify, with WordPress, with WooCommerce, and any of those platforms. Yeah. So if uh, if you have a generic website and you don't do many sales over there, but you want to capture some leads as well, you just do a generic uh, Facebook pixel code onto your website, yeah. and then you can set up different events from Business Manager to get triggered when people do certain actions onto your website. Yeah. 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 Okay. So. How is this useful apart from the obvious, apart from knowing what people are doing? I mean, what 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 is it? That, give us give us an example. Give us an example where this is going to be really useful, dead simple that could help virtually everybody. Retargeting. Oh. It's it's the best and easiest way to do it. To be honest, retargeting. retargeting yeah. Exactly. Yeah. Uh, and for people who don't know what retargeting is, what we look, give us a give us um let's have a look at let's think of an example where that would be. Um, so some, let's, let's say someone came onto your website, but they haven't took any action, Yeah. Uh, but they've actually spent some time over there. Maybe, I don't know, 10, 15, 20 seconds, something like that, right? Yeah. So obviously, if they haven't left straight away, that means they were interested in something that you had on your website. Yeah. And what you do, then you're just going to create an ad to retarget that person on uh, certain platforms, right? So that's why, like I said yesterday, you can do it Facebook, Instagram, yeah. um, Facebook Messenger, uh, WhatsApp, no, but you can do audience network. And by audience network, I mean loads of other websites uh, that have those little annoying ads at the bottom. You can yeah. do that as well, right? Yeah, yeah. Uh, okay. And that's, that's just the easiest way to, to use the Facebook pixel. But you want to play a long-term game. And what, you know, what I do with the Facebook pixel, I use it for the analytics data. That's you why we discussed yesterday about well, you the, would do, Mister Analytical. Yeah, of course. Yeah, yeah. I, I kind of enjoy. It. I'm, I'm, you know, I'm, a, I'm geeky, so that's why. I mean, know. mate. I mean, for for, for example, I and mean, this is a great, this is a great point. So I just say hello to quick, quick hello to Nic Nicola Barrett, Barrett, the Barrett. Hi, Nicola. How you doing? Hello, Thanks Nicola. very much for for watching and joining us. Uh, if you've got any questions, of course, uh, then then make sure you fire them over. Um, uh, yeah. So, at least you are analytical, and and this is it's a, it's a good point. And I think if you do want to use it right, if you're if it's not your bag, that those that that technical side, that analytical side, and it's definitely you know I know what I want from things. We've had this conversation many times, but how I get them is a different matter. Get it, get somebody like you involved, then that that tool is really useful. The the, the, the Google Analytics, the, the all the other those other bits pieces we've been talking about recently, Facebook Business Manager, and then utilizing that pixel, it all sort of ties into one, right? I mean, that's 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 what makes those things work well exactly. and efficiently yeah, it's, it's and effectively. A whole, it's a whole e ecosystem at the end of the it's day, you know. Ecosystem, it is. Yesterday, when I was saying about the Facebook Business Manager, when I'm and I was talking loads about the data and analytics and trying to understand people and what they do over there, is not that's not possible without the Facebook Pixel, Absolutely. because that's exactly what I do. So Facebook Pixel is collecting the data, but yeah. through the Business Manager, I can actually look at that data and everything is connected together. So that's why you need both of them uh, actually to to work properly. Yeah, 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 definitely. Oh, for sure. It's um, it's a it's, it is a great tool, but I think it's uh, it's a lot of people. I mean, a lot of people still never heard of it. To be fair, exactly. 
Yeah, so many people. And that's why, you know, I've told yesterday a story and I said, I'm going to tell you the the reason. Which one? Not, not, that not, that, not the one with the, no? Oh, the other no. one. Oh, okay. no, the other one, yeah, the other one, the other one, the one with the guy that approached Clean me one. on LinkedIn. Oh, okay. Yeah, <laughs> so the the one with the guy that approached me on LinkedIn, and um, he tried to sell me some services anyway. But I just went looked at his website, um, and I gave him some feedback. But the first thing I tell people, you know, it's usually you don't have the Facebook pixel on your website. If I see that straight away, you know, because there are ways to be able to to track that. Yeah, and the guy came back and said, "Yeah, but I don't really advertise on Facebook." Okay. And that's that's fair enough. But yeah. maybe in two years from now, you're going to start to do that. Yeah. So you can collect data for free for about two years when other people have to pay loads of money to collect it. And even if you don't advertise, still, it's a very simple and good way to actually look at the behavior of, the, of, uh, of people that access your website. So no one says that you have to track them and, re and do ads for them or things like that. But you can see as well, just like I said yesterday, if people come onto your website and then just bounce back straight away and they don't do anything, you have to sort something out. If they yeah. come and look at things and never do anything else or never buy things, then again, you have to sort things out. And yeah. you can look at all this. So it doesn't matter if you advertise or not advertise. It's a free tool that it's very silly not to have it, let's say, onto your website. Do you know what? And uh, that's a, such a good point as well. And, and I would have definitely have not brought that up, but you're absolutely right. You, you're going to get your business wherever you guys are, wherever you are in your business. If it's something you're starting now and you want to learn the habits of the people of your potential audience and and even maybe maybe even the fact that you want to see your posts, that you know, your organic posts reach the right people and how they're reacting. I think it's a very good point. If you want to sell something, if you and, and the right way to set the business up these days is you've got to get so many things right before you start marketing. You know, okay. uh, everybody thinks that you get social media marketing involved. You do social media posts and suddenly your business is going to be there. You know, do you know what? If you're really lucky and you've got a sexy product, you've got something that everybody wants. Oh, <laughs> I'm not being funny. Let's rewind. Let's rewind a couple of years or two and a half years ago. And you've and I've got a fidget spinner in my hand, you know. And, and, you know, I'm not being funny. What have you got to do? Post a few things out on social media and everybody's going to buy one, right? But, yeah. you know, the world doesn't work like that. You haven't got the – you might have the next fidget spinner, but if you don't get it out to the right, right audience, they're never going to know you've got the next fidget spinner. Um, exactly. And if you don't have any data that you can uh... – Again, basically data, what you do is, is king, right? It, exactly, yeah. And that's that's something or I even had – Let's not be sexist. Yeah. I had a discussion today with someone, you know, and they said they were they are trying to sell a business, actually, you yeah. know, and uh, they were telling me what they're trying to do and all this, blah, blah. But only at the end, they've told me because when I asked them, OK, so what's your customer database? Oh, yeah. Well, I have this customer. You see, so actually, when you're selling your business, it's way easier because you have that database already. Yeah. So whoever buys that business has the customer database. And that's exactly what you do if you have, for example, the Facebook pixel, because you might not ever think to advertise on Facebook, but someone comes by the business with a fresh idea. Sure. And say, and when they look that you have two years worth of data, which actually costs probably thousands of pounds to buy it, you know? Yeah. Yeah. To say, okay, that's an asset and I can use that as well into my business as well. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I think that's a, such a valid, such a valid point. And genuinely, I, I, I wouldn't have necessarily covered that, which is why you brought it up, Adrian. Because that's why you are the extraordinaire. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> but but um but no 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 and it, it's such a good point i mean i wish oh what are you doing gonna yeah, have focus I, to, I have to focus again i'm not sure what happened with my camera but uh, uh something okay. happened here i mean something's happened for um yeah for the uh for people that are listening to the podcast it doesn't really matter that adrian's hand is way clearer than his face see i had problems exactly. with my camera didn't i this yeah, is all the, I'm not sure exactly what's joy. happening but this is the this is the joy of of of, of being of real honest open live stuff isn't it yeah, yeah. exactly sorry yeah. i'm not sure exactly what, what happened but uh yeah you get, maybe you, is it getting hot in there adrian it's pretty hot today maybe it's steamed up it, it, yeah. let me try to check something quickly you check, you check behind it, like. yeah. oh here we go mr technical yeah. So anyway, yeah, while Adrian's messing about with his camera, um, and uh, I'm, I'm just going to carry on talking about this because I, I genuinely do think this is a really good point. 
I think a lot of people do think that Facebook Pixel you have to have set up when you're uh, when your business is running. You've got you know people you've are buying it. from you. <laughs> we we got it sorted. Well done. You see, for everyone that's having issues, it's all, the easiest thing to do is just restart things. All right, that, that's yeah, the easiest. Yeah. <laughs> Absolutely. Um, but no, no. I think it's a good point. We covered we've covered it a little bit, but I just want to ram it home because I do think this is where the Facebook Pixel is is very very useful. You know, if you're six months away from selling, if you're two months away from selling, if you think your business is ready today, I can almost guarantee you if you're just starting off that it isn't right. You're not as ready as you think you are. Now, are you got your are, there's probably people that are going to be watching this going, yeah, I am ready. Actually, I'm not ready. I'm already running. That's brilliant. You may be two or three months in. You might be six months. In, you might be 12 months in. If you haven't got Facebook pixel, you still don't have the information you need to level up, to scale up, to get your business to the next level, because data is absolutely key. If you haven't got the information of what is going on around you, what is going on around your business, what's surrounding the people that you want to buy from you, or you want to engage what you're doing, then there is absolutely no way that you're going to attract the right people. So you may have a really good uh, you know, you may have really, really good, you might have a really great following on your social media. If you're not getting the engagement, there's possibly a reason why not. And the Facebook pixel could be part of the answer of you finding out who those people are and finding out their habits. Um, I think that's all I'm going to say on that side, because I do think it's a very, very, very powerful tool. Um, and um, yeah, and, and you're absolutely right, Adrian. If you're ready and you're selling already and you've never had it, then you'd be amazed at what that's going to change if you start using that right and combine your Facebook man man business manager. And you can all any analytical stuff that you can get for a business these days. You, you can't get anything better. It's all about analyzing what you're doing continuously, having a look at that, anal that analytical data. And then basically adapting, adopting, and improving. See, I've got the phrase in there. Exactly. Yeah. The three A's. No, or no, A A I. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Wait, okay, exactly. good. Have ado ad adopting, adapting, and and uh, um, um, it doesn't work. <laughs> I'm, I'm proving. Yeah. I'm proving. I'm proving. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> a, yeah a, so a, I. Just, just to give you an idea, you know, I've, I've discussed this with, with even with Elliot a few days ago, and you can go into so much detail that. Uh, you can even see what operating system on their mobile phone the people are using that go into your website, right? Yeah. So that's why. So not just actually knowing that you have to advertise more for mobile rather than the desktop, you know, and you have to optimize everything for mobile. You can even look and see if they're more towards the iOS phones or more towards the iPads or yeah. more towards the Android phones and all those kind of things. So it's extremely detailed if you really want to go that, that far. Here's a question for you. Uh, now, um, a friend of the show is going to be coming on and, uh, and probably going to speak about this as well. I would have thought, because I think this is a subject and they do, they do make, make changes, uh, quite regularly to yes. pixels, things like that. What's this new change, Adrian? Do you know about it? The shops? No, there's a new change mm -hmm. in the Facebook pixel, apparently. Ah, no, I don't know. Don't you? No. Well, I'll tell you what, shall we find, I'll find, I'll find out and we'll get, we'll get, uh, we'll get Christian who, uh, you know, as you, as you know, and we're going to be introducing, uh, I'll be introducing you and bringing us all into the fold, but, um, Christian did a post about it. So I'm quite intrigued on what this, uh, this change is. Um, so every, listen, as much as we know, somebody always knows a little bit more. And so oh, yeah. I know that I know for a fact now you're going to go away after this show and you're going to find out what the hell it is as well, aren't you? <laughs> yeah, definitely. <laughs> <laughs> it may just have been a minor, minor tweak, but there's, there's definitely something. They're definitely doing some big changes at the moment. There's some big changes yeah. going on around Facebook and Instagram, um, TikTok. Yeah, so they're doing, they're doing the thing growth. with the Facebook shops, which is massive, straight. You know, first, first of all, and I'm looking, I'm really keen looking into that. You know, uh, especially because now it's going to be a, a more direct integration of chatbots uh, and. Uh, shops you know so it's going to help uh, help small businesses even more than before uh and that's a whole topic i just uh studied yesterday and today but i need to get a bit more information about that and see exactly how it's going to work yeah i mean this is one of your key areas as well helping clients with isn't it you know your e-commerce side your chat bots with for engagement and and tweaking and tweaking their uh their their social marketing so to speak um to make that work well i know that's a big part of what you do it's ever evolving as well. I mean, you know, things change on a, on a, on a regular basis. Oh, okay. What's happened over the last couple of months has, has changed, um, you know, the, uh, the, 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 
the horizon has changed the outlook um, for a lot of businesses now, which um, which is exciting. I think it's exciting times. I think there's a lot of uh, a lot of good, oh, yeah. innovative, new stuff that's going on. Hence exactly. the pivotal yeah. perspective, of course, because we're all about new and innovative and changing things and finding new information out that we can pivot and change with. That's what it's I all think, about. I think you have to. Otherwise, you get stuck. And at some point, you're just going to start blaming other people for the fact that things are not working or blaming platforms for things that are not working. And it's not it's, it's not really their fault. It's never their fault. It's it's you that got stuck at some point and you yeah. just need a, probably a kick in the ass and, and just move on. And that's it. <laughs> Yeah. I love that. Yeah, definitely. I've been there. You've been there. We've all been there. You know, hey, and that's the truth. And until I keep you don't myself in the every day, it's really difficult. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, no, absolutely for sure. And you know what, people know. You know, if you if you want to move ahead as well, keep on learning. Go and find ways to learning. It might not be this show. But there's plenty of people out there that have got lots of content, lots of stuff to, to, to teach you. You're not going to find as much out from everywhere else as you will find out here over time. But, you know, you can go and try. And we'll, uh, we'll, 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 be, we'll deliver the best stuff. Yeah, we're doing our best. And also the best part of it is free. So absolutely. Absolutely. Right. And going back to yeah. talking about free stuff. Um, we are going to be producing, and we were talking about this earlier today, uh, we do want to be producing uh, some free uh, some free bits and pieces that we can uh, so we can uh, give give people on a PDF, for example, some of the stuff that were things that we've been talking about. Um, so watch out for that, guys, because we are going to be creating something there so that anybody that does want to download stuff and does want a few links and does want a bit of help on things, that you, we can give that to you as well. So we're trying to put as much as we can out to you so you can get that uh, and to, to help you, because if it helps you, there's a fair chance that you're going to be able to scale up grow uh, and, uh, and 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 develop your business and yourself as well and and to, for, for us as uh, you know small business entrepreneurs let's say um, and uh, wanting to help you know the, the the business owner the smaller business owners um, we support the economies of the world you know generally there's a small businesses uh, and small business isn't a small business it's a multi-million pound you know uh, a company these days so um, so it's for everybody yeah, uh, but it's great. Mark Zuckerberg, when he did his announcement yesterday about the new Facebook shops and all this, even he said in his statement the fact that he did this just to be able to help small businesses because his whole Facebook business is based on small businesses. So yeah. they don't get the biggest revenue from big players. Actually, they get from small businesses because you have millions of small businesses compared with probably thousands of really really big players you know absolutely and you get you get those uh, bits to play and to be fair the big players have only just started in the last 12 months this is the only the big players have only just started to come on board to face with they've only just started to see the benefits of it you know you see now seeing bmw dealers and things like that starting to use that they weren't using it before the smaller no. guys were so you're right you're absolutely right and exactly. thanks mark thanks very much for your uh, for your support he's definitely listening you know uh for everyone <laughs> know, somewhere yeah, probably you, you've heard about Zoom. Um, Facebook have done something similar with Zoom. It's called yeah. Facebook Rooms. You can try that as well. I just tried it yesterday. What's it's, it like? It's interesting. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Not at the Zoom level yet, okay. but it, it's free at the end of the day, and it works quite well. So, yeah. Yeah. Well, we use StreamYard as uh, as your as people will see probably from uh, from seeing seeing the outsides of the post and uh, and and a lot of people that are doing what we're doing on a more serious level are are definitely using this platform. I think this is good. I, I, yeah. I I'm definitely an advocate for for StreamYard. I think it's really good. It's really slick. It allows us to do things like this. Uh, makes us look pretty professional, which is good because um, well, something's got to make us look professional, eh? Oh yeah, definitely. <laughs> if not our um, bloopers as well, you know, when camera goes fuzzy <laughs> and things like that. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Oh uh, mate, as as always, always good good to chat to you. And um, yeah, I think the Facebook pixel was a great a great thing to chat about. Uh, tomorrow we are going to be talking about what Adrian. Yeah. We're going to be talking about um, spying on the comp. Exactly, and also the tip of the day. So I'm going to give you some examples. I'm going to send to you here in the private private chat, and if you only can just put them there, uh, it's okay. going to be. So these are two Chrome extension. One of them is. Uh, to see if someone has installed the Facebook Pixel or you, if you have installed it correctly and if it triggers correctly. Yeah. And the other one is to see if someone has Google Tag Manager on their website and understand if people are tracking you or they're not tracking you, basically. That's what I've okay. said. You know. okay. I just do free Chrome extension and extremely helpful, especially for me. You know, I always look at people to see if they have that, they don't have that, and all those kind of things. You know, like here now with StreamYard, I can see that they have six events on their page while we're streaming live right now, all right? Yeah, okay. 
So, um, I, I can't. Oh, right. Okay. Okay. Interesting. I'm just showing the link there, so anybody that's um, that uh, that wants to uh, or goes into the comments can obviously see that there. And we're going to drop another one in there as well. And what's the second one, Adrian? Sorry, I wasn't. I was. So second one is you know, bad. How bad me is the host. Yeah, a second one. It's a Google Tag Manager. So that one is going to tell you if someone has the Google Tag Manager installed on the website, and they track you through Google as well. Okay, and that's uh, that's going to show up on your screen right now. Um, but obviously, you won't be able to copy it off the screen. But you will be able to go into the uh, the comments and see that as well. So there it is, complete gobbledygook, guys. But uh, there it is. There's the um, uh, the tag assistant uh, from uh, Google there as well. Um, very cool. I like the way it shows up on the screen. It makes us look even more professional. Yeah. Well, uh, you know what we're doing. <laughs> <laughs> that's a bloody fluke isn't it uh no I, as always adrian or, uh, you know great it's great to to have a chat with you about these things because i've learned i've definitely learned some so if i've learned some there's there's a there's a damn sight more people out there that are going to learn some bits and pieces as well uh but obviously check those links out guys um thank you very much adrian we're going to be chatting about spying on the competitions adverts tomorrow through facebook and understanding your target audience aren't we exactly and everything for free you know, it's so that, that's the beauty because you don't have to pay loads of money now to do these things. Facebook is giving you loads, loads of tools for free. They don't promote them, to be honest. No. Not well, but you're very you know good at finding them. Exactly. Yeah. <laughs> but if you know them, you can use them in a really, really clever way. Great stuff. So make sure you tune in tonight, uh, tomorrow night at 9 p.m. Or make sure you check this out on YouTube as well. If you're listening to this, then go over to YouTube, of course, and go and check that out. Uh, when What went up earlier on at 7 o'clock this evening onto YouTube was the uh, second episode from last Wednesday, which was QR codes. If you don't know what a QR code is, there is one on my arm there. And what, obviously, I've got one on my back as well, which you may or well may not be able to see. Um yeah, so check that out as well. So it's a great chat as well. And Adrian and I are covering loads of bits and pieces. And um, we're going to have a few more with Adrian as uh, my guest extraordinaire. And uh, yeah, I, I, I love these conversations, mate. It's, um, I'm, I'm definitely enriching myself with even more information and uh, definitely going to be good for our audience. Listening, visual, whatever. I'm glad. I'm glad that is working. <laughs> uh, great stuff. Thanks, Adrian. I shall catch up with you uh, just a little while afterwards and I shall, uh, shall do my goodbyes. But thank you very much for joining me again, of course. Thank you, John. Thank you, Elliot. And take care. See you soon then. Cheers. Thank you. Bye bye. Oh, I cut him off there. So that's Adrian Darabantu, of course. And uh, he's very, very much been uh, my guest extraordinaire when it comes to digital marketing, Facebook chatbots. Uh, QR codes, and obviously talking about Facebook Pixel as well and Facebook Business Manager yesterday. Uh, if you want to know more about what's going on, you need to check out our Facebook page, Essex Business Radio. If you want to get on the show, click on Send Message on that page, uh, and it will take you into Elliot Bot. He will chat with you and have a few seven seven questions, and you can let them let Elliot Bot know if you have something innovative or a new way of doing things, or if you have a way of doing things that other people aren't doing and you reckon you can help them, whatever it is, however mad you think it might well be, I might pull it apart a little bit, but it's going to be entertaining. It's going to be edutainment for everybody out there. Uh, so uh, so please do that. You can check us out, Essex Business Radio, across all platforms virtually. Uh, Twitter is Essex Biz Radio, B I double Z. Uh, but go over to YouTube. We're getting real good traction on YouTube at the moment. People clearly want to see what we're doing. Uh, and you can check out that as Essex Business Radio over there. Click on uh, subscribe, of course, when you go there and make sure you leave a review and uh, do some likes on the videos you like. And if you've been on one of those videos as well, make sure you leave us a comment or two. Whether it is constructive criticism or not, let's well, want to hear from you. And when you're on the show, comment below, of course, uh, and we'll basically feature your hi or your shout out or whatever it is that you want to ask, and we'll maybe try and answer your question, of course. Uh, apart from that, what else do I want to say? Well, the other thing I do want to say is you are going to be back here for 9 o'clock tomorrow on Facebook Live, my first Facebook and Essex Business Radio's Facebook. And we may do it on Instagram as well, uh, but we had a little bit of a technical hitch at the beginning, so I do apologize for that. Otherwise, come back and join us. Go and check us out on Facebook, YouTube, everywhere. It's all about that. 
and get yourself on the show. We've got some other bits and pieces going to tell you about tomorrow and Friday, um, which is very, very exciting. And got some offers for you guys uh, to do some free stuff for you, which is going to get you and your business out there. If you want to find out more, then make sure you do. If you want to contact me about it, please do. Otherwise, show up for the shows, make some comments below. Just be here. Join in. Join in. Be part of the creative collective uh, and uh, we're going to give you as much help as we possibly can big love to you all and i'm going to sign off for now so it's ciao for now brown cow <laughs>